Hi everyone, I'm Chanel and I'm from Stampin' Stilettos. I'm here with a interesting, an interesting um, case card just absolutely um, jumped out at me. Thought it was a bit different. We all like the Beautiful You um, stamp set, but this is just a bit different. Look at that. How cute is that? So let me tell you what you're going to need to make this card. Now, before I do that, let me tell you who this was from Pinterest and it was cased from Helen Winston. So this is the card. You will need High Tide stamp set and Beautiful You. And then cardstock, we are using a basic Whisper White card base, and that's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then we have a piece of um, what colour did I decide to use in the end? A uh, Marina Mist, and this is five and a quarter by four. Then a piece of Whisper White, which is three and seven eighths by five and one eight and we are using quite a few color inks on today's project so what i will do is there they are we've got perfect plum soft suede soft sky wisteria wonder and sahara sands so let's get on with the stamping because this is an interesting one to do absolutely love it so i'm going to bring in my piercing mat and we're going to use soft suede actually we do need a scrap piece of paper so let me just bring that in here and we are going to be using soft no not soft suede I'm going to be using Sahara sands first so Sahara sand and we are using the water stamp now in the um you'll see on here on the actual box um, that's the flat piece there and that's the curvy bit so we're going to turn it around so that the curvy bits that way facing up so you'll see what I mean in a minute so that's your stamp if you can see it that's actually the bottom if you look at the on the box but I'm going to turn it around and just run it across the bottom and then we're going to do another one like that that's it and then we're going to take the dancing lady and we are going to pop her about there so she looks like she's actually in the water and then we're going to change over to soft suede and we're going to do the sentiment this is the first time today that I've used this sentiment. So, you know, these case cards are good for me too because, you know, I'm using, even though we may have used a stamp set, there might be a couple of stamps in that set that we're not used. Well, I've not used this one before. Life may not be the party we had hoped for, but while we're here, we might as well dance. Just gorgeous. So I'm going to pop that down in the middle like that. Oh, it is wonky, but never mind. Make sure that your stamp isn't wonky. Just will hold the card like that. Oh, it's a little bit wonky. Never mind. Never mind. And then we're going to take the grass. Um, I suppose you would call it grass. And we're just going to do a few in the water. Up to you where you want to put them. And then we have the birds. The birds. Where are the birds? I don't know why I say that. Every time I do birds, I say the birds, the birds. I don't know. Mental. I think I'm a bit mad in the head sometimes. So we have the birds. Oh, don't. I just want to say it again. I can't. And we're going to pop them down like that. And then we are going to put our inks away. And we're going to bring in um, Soft Sky, so squidgy lid. And we're just going to do a really, oops, with our aqua pen, just a really, put a little bit of water in your lid if you have to, just to get, you know, a really light covering of this colour. You don't really want it too dark. 
it is literally just a wash over I actually need to pick up a little bit of colour there because I've run out of colour gives it this kind of bluey green sort of effect now we are going to I'm going to clean off my brush <coughs> excuse me and we're using Wisteria Wonder and I do want this quite watery because um, it's just to shade in her dress I don't really want it very dark I'm going to go in with Perfect Plum and shade it a bit darker so then we're going to use Perfect Plum and it's going to come in here and just run some down the side and then down the highlighted bits and then around her hair, her hat and just shade it in a little bit like that so we don't have to go crazy um, and look at that it just looks gorgeous apart from the wonky sentiment oh, I don't know. right okay so that is that and then all we've got to do is put the card together so we're going to take some Tombow and I bet I've just picked up the one that is not coming out oh yes it is all over my table Right, I'm going to just take some I'm going to pop that down on the Marina Mist like that now of course you can use watercolour card if you prefer but if you don't put too much um you know water in your on your when you're doing your ink in if you do it very quick I find that it's actually okay and it doesn't absorb it too much you can get away with a bit with the um, you know just regular cardstock I find anyway but you know if you use watercolor paper you won't have to worry about that and then we're going to pop that on Actually, I could have done it on watercolour paper because I do have some somewhere, watercolour card. But there is your card. I just thought that this was a little bit different for you. Um, gives you a chance to, um, you know, use your aqua pens and, and do some shading. So a little bit different, a little bit of shading technique going on there. Um, and such a beautiful card. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I shall be back soon with more. Please like and subscribe. Bye.